Hi, this is Shilpa here and today I want to talk about a wellness practitioner's lifestyle and you know it could be any practitioner in the complementary and alternative modality but there is this term called ideal health that especially we as homeopathic practitioners strive for and it's all about restoring maintaining your physical emotional spiritual health and we, we really strive and dream about being able to successfully transform the health and well-being of our clients and patients through these gifts. But what I've seen over the years is that I've been working with you know practitioners and students at different levels of their practice and you know instead of these practitioners having this incredibly healthy lifestyle over the years, they become completely overwhelmed and exhausted from running their business. You know, and I see some students who over time are really burnt out and drained to the point of giving up. And then they start working really incredibly hard, taking cases, working on them for hours after the consultations. So eventually, even though you survive those first five years of your practice, the dream of having this incredibly balanced lifestyle slowly starts to become quite the opposite. And, and I, I can see this happen even with practitioners who are very, very successful. And I think this is a trap because, you know, when practitioners start, they, they have to be really busy. I mean, it's a naturally busy time. You are, you know, working on a job. Most of us would be working on a job at the same time to survive. And then it's fine because you are the only person doing everything. And so that means you have to work a whole bunch to get the clinic rolling. And also you're working on a job. And, and but what happens is when they start getting successful, then they all the more busy because they need to keep their foot on the gas pedal all times. They need to be working longer, um, you know, sometimes pushing things out into the weekends because now they have many more patients to look after, many more phone calls and active prescriptions to make, you know, writing emails. And sometimes they have to be super connected on social media today. And, you know, I see such a lot of really successful practitioners as well. Um, and even the people who are more successful as practitioners, you think they're leading this really unbelievable lifestyle, um, but they're working hard all the time. And the problem is that with our kind of business, it's just not about our you know, physical body. It's our brain that suffers. It's our creativity that suffers, our intuition, which is driving our business. And, you know, if we are not taking good care of the practitioner in us, our physical, intellectual, creative, intuitive gifts, these, you know, we start to burn out. And it is interesting that we do have some rituals in place to ensure we're looking after um, our physical health and mental, emotional health. And, you know, if we don't get enough, we all know that, if we don't get enough sleep, enough uh, eat well, keep ourselves hydrated, eliminate toxins as they're building up, then we're not going to function efficiently. But how many of us really go and think about nurturing and recharging our mind and our soul? And I think that's when the brain starts to suffer, that's when the creativity suffers, and that's when our passion and purpose really suffers. And I think this is something I really want to nurture as practitioners. And one of the things that really, really work for me, for my mind, is to take the time away from my business and completely disconnect. Now, this is a really interesting term I'm using, completely disconnect, because I've just been back from a road trip and so we have been on a camper van um, and for about eight days into the Australian outback uh, we went all the way we traveled around 3,000 kilometers all the way to Broken Hills to White Cliffs the Mungo National Park with my family and I had one of the most extraordinary time of my life you know we camped around some of the most amazing places on earth that took us back in time around 40,000 years uh, and this is the type of thing I like to do each year and each time we exploring a new territory 
and go one bit extreme with our camping when I try and remain totally unconnected. And you know, we camp some nights in totally unpowered sites where you're disconnected from electricity and it's uh, my idea of a really, really rejuvenating sort of a trip. And it's, it's quite important to me and it may or may not be a great idea for a lot of other people. But you see, it's something which really, really feeds my soul. It recharges me and somehow it, this turned out to be an epic break for me and my family. So what, so this video basically is just, you know, whatever you do, you just have to take care of yourself uh, by taking yourself completely away and really disconnect from your practice, from your patients, from your cases, because that is what's, you know, fueling your creativity. Otherwise, it's quite easy to become a nervous wreck. And I remember I was inspired by one of my business coaches who was, you know, talking about splitting our time by having different types of days, you know, and it's up to you how you want to split them up. But you can have, there are types of days, like there are free days, there are focus days, there are buffer days. And this makes a lot of sense to me and I want to share it with you and I hope it makes some sense to you. So we have these focus days which are the days when you are deeply involved in your work, you know, your mission. You know, these are your highly productive days that move the needle for you. So when you're taking a case, you're totally connected with your patients. When you work to create a massive impact for your clients, um, and over the last decade, my focus days have also empowered me to create my online academy and my homeopathy network and reach more and more practitioners around the world through my training, coaching, mentoring. And when I connect with 10,000 practitioners and, and you know, for example, today I'm creating this video and it's like these are my focus days when I'm driven to create these ripples around the world where I support and provide practitioners with the tools and resources which then in turn help them um, impact hundreds and thousands of their own patients and so the effect actually travels to corners of the world so these are my highly focused days and then there are some buffer days and those are the things you really don't want to do but you have to do um, it's like those accounting administrative jobs you know sometimes also getting systems in place for your business because you want to do that as you grow and you have to get some parts of your business automated um, so that you get more time for the next one, uh, which is our free days. So the free days are the ones when, for me, it's being truly disconnected and maybe disconnected for an hour or even an entire day. And a big one for me is my morning what I call a rejuvenation routine, okay? Which I've managed to slowly build in my day. So what I do is, once we have breakfast and my son is off to school, I start uh, my day with this five kilometer morning walk with my partner Atul. And we choose to go along a beautiful creek that starts just behind my house. And we try and do this every single morning or let's say about 80 to 90 percent of my mornings uh, on my work days but the key is that i remain completely unplugged from work so i'm not even thinking about work or my day-to-day -day things so what we do is we spend this time on looking at where we are in our journey you know where we want to be and uh, with respect to our vision our purpose and each day uh, would be something different. So it could be sharing ideas on our next dream project, or it could be planning a completely new adventure. But that one hour is about those ideas and it enriches and feeds the start of our day and it makes it very worthwhile and purposeful. So when we return, we, we, we come back enthusiastic to take on the day. And these are those free hours which are a part of my every day which is my work day and then as i mentioned those epic days where you take these um this break uh for about a week or 10 days and you built it in your year 
and when you completely go away so it's like for us it is camping or trekking or uh, in a completely new territory and you and some of these days are like away from power away from internet away from people because you see all the other times we are so connected right and we're connected with our patients we're connected through you know either internet we're connected with life and this forces me to be disconnected so when i come back my brain and my soul is recharged and i'm much more creative i do much better with my homeopathy even though i have not done any homeopathy in that time i come much more recharged to take on my focus days and my focus days become super focus and effective days so hope this makes sense to you and it you know so make sure that you have some free time and you built in these rejuvenation rituals in your day in your week or in your year because then life will not get in and you do not end up not taking that break because you were too busy and you see it it will make sure you nurture your intellectual and intuitive gifts it will set you powerfully to come back to highly productive focus days so you can create more and more impact and it is much more important as you become more successful because when you're more successful you know life presents with so many more opportunities and when these opportunities are calling to you you should be able to tap into them with your full potential and you would not be able to do that if you are not recharged uh with your mind body and soul and i think it's a simple sort of uh a ritual but it takes time to re- you know to disconnect but i think it is such um it it's like um addictive and uh, today i want you to explore what works for you so it, this could work for you or may not work for you you might think this is too extreme but i want then to explore what works for you for your productivity what is a part of your routine in your day which recharges you not just your physical body but your mental emotional and spiritual zone and what sets you back on track when you have an exhaustive day or an exhaustive week and i invite you to head down in the comment section and i want to hear your strategies to getting back on track and the interaction can help the whole community i think you know it's it's just about looking after ourselves as practitioners and i just can't wait to engage with you in the comment section let's see so thank you very much and i look forward to your comments